Oh, hi. Your week has started. Officially. They, uh, gave me a call and let me know this officially starts your week, so, uh, I'm sorry and thank you, but here we are in a place called Weird and Interesting Locations. Only thing I have to go on is that they're weird and interesting locations. I am not holding out much hope for weird and interesting locations being something I can decipher because it's a weird and interesting location. And I'm getting annoyed of saying that over and over again, so I'm going to stop. <clears throat> um, K-R-A Krasny Vimel No, that's Finland. That's the flat, or is that an X? By the way, it's draped. That almost looks like the Scottish flag. It is not... We're in a harbor of some sorts, and I don't know what it means by it being a weird and interesting location, but these kids are so bored, it looks like they're throwing snow into the water. Um, well, there's a Russian flag. If I had to pick a weird and interesting location, I'm going to say we're in Vladivost. We're like over here. Like Yurtusk? No, that's the... So there's no like big... <clears throat> town I think over here but I'm going to click ah fuck this may also be over here in like St. Petersburg so I don't know what makes this a weird and interesting location unless it's like one of these but I don't think it is I'm going to say we're in Petrograd but yeah my uh maybe there's a bridge here let me let me take a look I've graduated from back pain to now having just friggin' um, neck pain. I'm sure you're tired of me complaining so much about it, but I don't know what it is. I was lying in bed, just like Brian Wilson did, and <clears throat> I was like, oh, I got a little tweak in my neck. So I went to go stand up and stretch, and uh, back my neck said, that was a terrible idea, now I will punish you. And it did. And here I am. For the back, that's fine. But the neck's a bit of an issue. But here we are, enjoying a very warm Sunday. At least here it is. Mm. Pardon my drink. But, um, yeah, it's that time of year again when weather actually gets nice and I can... It's not such a tease as, like, okay, weather's here and... I'm uh, I can't really click anywhere else. I'm kind of just stuck here. And I am very much looking forward to actually going out to golf, but every time I pull some other muscle, it it pushes it back. And the weather, the room that I'm recording in is going to get hot and stuffy. I have to have the doors shut. The AC is not in. It is still too cold for that. But transitionary periods when summer gets hot too hot. I'm not a summer person. I'm not I'm not a fan. I'm going to make my guess. And yet we're on the exact opposite side of the country. I have Vladivostok, like I said, I'm a I'm miffed. And this is going to be hilarious if this actually turns out to be this. Let's make the guess. Yeah. <clears throat> so I went through this earlier. You're going to have to excuse me because I've tried a couple of times trying to get this theme to work. And it's brought me to a black screen every time. And every time I see that, it's a bit of a... Uh, what the fuck is this? It's a bit of a frustration where I've, I've recorded for a while. I got to a black screen. And it, it, I don't want to say I'm short shrifting you. But why do they blur these out? Oh man, I'm just falling apart today. It's just one of those days when uh, you don't want to wake up. Everything, every everybody sucks. Everything is fucked, or whatever the words go. Um, my weekend's been all thrown out just because I've kind of been set in a uh, what does that say? Bali style hotel where you're kind of set. Okay, this is how I like my weekends to go, and then it kind of gets uh. A monkey wrench thrown into the mix, and you're a little, uh, 
throne. Okay, it's like I should be doing what I'm doing right now way earlier, but since it was the Easter weekend, I went to go do some Easter stuff, and I've come back much later. It's thrown the rest of the day off, and it's 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 maybe maybe probably overly selfish, but I can be when it comes to my own time of just not doing anything. And my own time of just not doing anything includes doing these videos. So I'm going to get done with this, and I'm just going to look at the clock and realize, whoa, this is six hours later than what I uh, am used to. Oh, that's right, I can move. I'm going to move. So you'll excuse me as I try to figure out exactly what in Japan we are. Waxing Boutique. I did see something weird uh, yesterday that um, I don't know if it's because I don't understand or if it's because I'm old or, yes, it actually is weird. Um, I don't know if you guys ever seen, like, those fighting posters. It, you know, you could take a look at, like, the, uh, the, the uh, UFC whenever they have, like, a pay-per-view thing and they have the poster of, okay, this person fighting this, 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 this. Oop, I just nailed the mic. And it shows uh, the people fighting. And uh, if you look around, like, any local event where they're going to have, like, a boxing match or kickboxing or MMA thing in your local town, they'll probably have, like, some dumb name for whatever it's called just to draw your attention to it. And then they'll have the pictures of the people who are actually going to uh, fight each other. And this one, it, it caught my eye because at first I didn't know what the actual, uh, the the advertisement was for i just saw two children on the bottom of this in those like boxing poses with their fists up um just you know someone's taking a photo of them so they're staring at the camera no shirt on just their fists up kind of like near their face like they're in their boxing pose and there's these two 10 year olds and right below the caption it just said 10 year old kickboxing match and i was like what, what the fuck is this so I look at the rest of it, and yeah, it's it's like an MMA event that's happening in the uh, city I was <clears throat> in over the weekend, excuse me. And I just thought that seemed extremely weird, not only to set the fight up, but advertise it as such. Like, I don't, maybe it's because I don't understand kickboxing. Yes, I know that when you learn kickboxing, there it, it's pretty common for uh, people to start at a young age, but. That's a weird sign. But it, it seemed like you shouldn't be... Okay, bragging's the wrong word, but, like... This almost feels like those bridges in Taiwan. Oh, we're underneath. I don't want to be underneath. Get me over here. Get me up here. That, uh... Oh, we're in Osaka. I mean, this the score's going to be gone because I said Vladivostok and ended up being, uh... I chose Petrograd over Vladivostok, and I paid for it. This is in England. I forget where. It's this guy's got a shark in his roof. Why not? Is it in London? I mean, I don't know what else would be in the city. We'll just say we're in Walthamstow, unless I see something else. I'm going to move around and try to find it. But... Is that just me being like an old curmudgeon, just being like, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but should they be not only advertising, but sanctioning a 10-year-old kickboxing match? I don't know if I'd want to see that, just because that's kind of crazy to me. But I've been known, admittedly so, for my own observations, that I couldn't be an old fuddy-duddy. That's what happens when you know, become a fuddiest duddy as opposed to the freshest duddy when you're younger. But maybe don't have 10-year-olds kicks up. Or you can spar in a gym. I'm sure that happens all the time. But maybe not make it an MMA match or, or, or part of your billing for whatever show you're going to have. But then what makes up, like, the youngest age? Would it be... Uh, 17 or 18? I mean, what age are they in the Olympics when they, when they are actually boxing? I don't know. Ring Road. Nuffield Orthopedic Center? Nuffield. 
is this actually England? I mean, I, England, I mean, uh, London. I don't know. But I'm just going to say it is and go from there. Are Abascus, Oxford, Lang is this just Oxford? Where's Oxford? There's a Cambridge, Oxford. Here we go. Let's see if it just shows a Oxford Castle. Shark on roof. Is this, what is this? Oh, it's a train? Airport? Hmm. My phone is blowing up. Let me take a quick gander. Okay, nothing. But also, uh, maybe it's just because of the, the, the city the fight is taking place in where it'd be. Of course, this uh, city would have 10-year-olds kickboxing each other because what else are you going to do in this besides crystal meth? But maybe I'm just being unfairly hard on said town. I mean, I'm not going to say the actual city because I don't want to. Don't want to bring any more attention to it than other than just the anecdote I, anecdote I saw of it, and it seemed rather silly. This is one blurred house. I can still make out your house, and you're waving to me right now. I think this is Oxford. I'm sure there's actually a sign somewhere that says "Old uh, Pip Pop Flippy Flop Sharky Wark House Houseaton." I mean, I can't say any more silly Britishisms. Operation in progress. Ooh. Let's let's what does this say? Oxfordshire County Council. I want to go see the, the 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 thing happening. Where is it? Pedestrian in Locks Court. And now the other fun thing is because I've never actually really pulled this muscle in my my neck. I'm I'm now understanding and experiencing all the things I'm gonna make my guess. That the oh the Headington shark okay. I'm experiencing all the things that uh this muscle is involved with and whether or not um I can maintain normal like usual positions that I would normally sit in where I can't anymore because hey it hurts so lucky me. I don't know where this is yet, but I'm don't think I'm going to do another one of these on uh, on Wednesday over oh, in Australia. Okay, <clears throat> just because um I got to start at least writing down maybe some other ideas as far as themes and maps to do just in the interim. We'll see. Like. Some of the other ideas I had of just guess a bunch until you get one wrong, but I don't know how that would work, if it'd be entertaining in any way. Let me just say we're in Adelaide. I mean, I don't know. I, I Just because, I don't know what's so weird and interesting about whatever it was on that building. But maybe I can find something to help me out with. Eh... Uh, Something, something, Sizer. Okay, none of that helps me. Kaiser. That doesn't help me. Let's see. This says Deacon. We're in like a suburbian-ish location, and I'm hoping that I can maybe find a uh, road to take me to, like a bigger road. I mean, this is a pretty big thoroughfare as is, but I'm hoping that one of these will tell me exactly where we are. Like, I, I know this is going to be a bad score just because uh, first one turned out bad. But weird and interesting was very subjective because I don't think the uh, last place we were in was a shark. I mean, yeah, it's weird. I wouldn't call it interesting. I think it has to qualify both criteria in order for me to actually want to... Uh, Give it an agreement. Like, yeah, that is weird and interesting. I think the shark on the house is just more dumb. I mean, I don't know any of the background history to it. I'm sure maybe, like, some guy's wife's dying wish was put a shark on my roof, and he did it. 
And then he died afterwards in, I don't know, Misery Guts, where they have Flat Earth discussions live every night. They're like, just let it, just come in, you know, something like that, if I had to guess. I don't know where this is. See, this is weird and interesting just because of what it says in the sign. I would choose that way over whatever that thing was on the on the wall there. Duck travel and tax refunds. Coffee place, backpackers, it's a hostel. I don't want to be there. Where is this? I've seen nothing to tell me where we is. Does this tell me anything? Think kill the adventure playground. That doesn't help me. I got 20 seconds and nothing is going to uh, show up to let me know that this is uh, whatever I'm looking for in uh, Sacred Heart Mission. Yeah, none of this stuff's going to, like, where are we? Reveal your secrets to me. Nondescript Australian city. Is this St. Kilda? Where the fuck's St. Kilda? Oh, we're in Melbourne. I want to see what they call this thing. It's probably your house, and buddy, it, it's, it's not that interesting. Well, even with <laughs> this awful score, I didn't do too bad, but that was, that was a dud. Blame that on the person who made the map. I know this is a bit of a quick video. But, um, yeah, I guess that'd be my fault. And I guess I apologize. I don't know. This is, this is rambling at best. Uh, brain fried from weekend. I'm still trying to recover. But hopefully your Monday will go better than the way I'm presenting it. I mean, if, if you want to think of it that way, this is the worst your day is going to get. The rest is going to be fantastic. And if I can fill that role to make the rest of your day optimistic and enjoyable, I'll do it. I'll do it just for you. But your Monday's done. Tuesday's gone. Wednesday's gray and whatever the other rest of the stuff is. Who cares? Thank you all for watching. We'll see you here again on Wednesday. Goodbye.